Welcome back to the Black 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 Friday special. <laughs> well, I got to do something like that because there's no power panel on this Friday. Uh, so <laughs> anyways, uh, so we're doing our favorite clips uh, and this was one of my favorite of all time. This is a doozy where Rudy uh, makes an ass out of, uh, out of himself. I know you're thinking, yeah, which one? Which one, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the one where he famously waved the phone around. But I want to give you a little bit of context. We did a different story later where we uh, remember that Trump uh, was thinking of appointing Rudy Giuliani to be the, his basically his internet security chief. And, and it on. turns out he locked himself out of his phone. And so he had to go to the Genius Bar at the Apple Store to unlock his phone. I mean, it was already a total disaster. But then he's on TV and going like, look at my phone, look at my phone. Dummy. <laughs> Dummy, watch. He says he didn't know his son was under investigation. That's absurd mm -hmm. that he never told, he never talked to his son about his son's foreign business. Do you believe that? D don't you think I can prove that he did? You think I'm stupid? Well, the fact that Laura Ingram didn't answer that question tells you everything you need to know about Rudy Giuliani <laughs> and how stupid people think he really is. He made a mess of yet another Fox News appearance. He was all over the place. He made all sorts of claims that are untrue. We're gonna go through the videos and we're going to debunk his claims and also probably make fun of him. Let's take a look. Insiders saying, you muck this up, your response. Man, I really did. And you know who I did it at the request of? The State Department. I never talked to a Ukrainian official until the State Department called me and asked me to do it. And then I reported every conversation back to them. And uh, Laura, I'm a pretty good lawyer, just a country lawyer, but it's all here, right here. Uh, the, the first call from the State Department. Rudy, Rudy, I couldn't agree it, with you more. And but not, why are you the one to do this? Why isn't this the role of the Justice Department or the FBI? Why task you, the personal attorney, the president to do that? I think that's that's a question that just layman was like, okay, I get it. I, that should be investigated. But why is Rudy role, you know, running the show on that? Why isn't it FBI and just the main justice? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, because the FBI's performance since his entire investigation, including up to this moment, is uh, flawed. Why am I doing it, Laura? Can't you figure it out? I'm his defense lawyer. I'm defending him. He's my client. I don't know, only Donald Trump is not entitled to a defense in America. So Rudy Giuliani, who is not a government official, he is Donald Trump's personal lawyer, is arguing that the State Department called on him to work with Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden. Now, uh, according to reports, when reached for comment, a State Department spokesman said, Mr. Giuliani is a private citizen and acts in a personal capacity as a lawyer for President Trump. He does not speak on behalf of the US government. Now, there's one other element to this though. Mike Pompeo might have asked uh, for Giuliani's involvement. Pompeo was asked about that and he refused to get into details. So here's my first comment on that. Tick, 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 tick. So let me explain why. Uh, first of all, train wreck. Uh, we got more videos coming up for you. But you could even tell from Laura Ingram. She she keeps looking at him like, like uh, you think I'm stupid? And she's like, and you know what she did at the end of the interview? She said, I'm sorry to cut you off. You have to get your voice back. Okay, so that like she's like no moss. She threw in the towel. Mm -hmm. Like, I gotta get this guy off the air before he does more damage. Amazing. Now, the reason I say tick, 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 though, is when he holds up the phone and he says, I've got it recorded what the State Department said, that means there is massive internal fighting. Mm. So, State Department's trying to throw Giuliani under the bus, and Giuliani does a threat on national television. Oh, yeah, I'll throw you under the bus. I recorded our conversations. This is happening in public. That's unbelievable. So, when you have that kind of infighting, only a matter of time before somebody goes, I've had enough. This is what actually happened, I'm saying it publicly. So at one point on the show, Giuliani is asked to leave, right? Go take care of your voice. And then at one point, there is a panel and there's a Democrat by the name of Chris Hahn involved. And Chris Hahn gets under Giuliani's skin so much that Giuliani comes back and they begin to spar. Take a look. I just heard the president's personal political attorney 
say that he was directed by the State Department to go meet with the Ukraine to get evidence on the president's political opponent. Rudy Giuliani, who hasn't practiced political criminal law since the early 80s, is now saying he has evidence, he has all this information, he's making things up. And if, if the Bidens weren't public figures, it would be libelous. I'd like Chris to say, Hahn. Mr. Hahn, I should sue you for libel, because you irresponsibly oh, say- Oh, please. Yeah, well, you, you actually usually say incredibly stupid things. You're a public figure. Yeah, and- uh, by the way, do you have any idea that the State Department... So then you know the libel okay, law. Hold on. Shut up, Rudy. 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 Shut up. Okay, hold on. Shut up. Hold on. You don't Everybody. know what you're talking Ooh. about. Chris, Chris, You don't know Chris. what you're talking okay. about, idiot. I do. The state... No, you don't. You just Mr. lied. Mayor, I wish you would stop. You lied, my friend. I wish friend. you would stop, Mr. Mayor. You li- uh, well, why okay. don't you, why you tell him... I wish you would stop. Why don't you tell him to keep his mouth shut so we can tell the truth? All right. Two things I love about that. Chris Hahn actually did a right-wing trick there. Uh, constantly interrupt and jab, 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 mm-hmm. it's, and filibuster. I'm on, honestly, that's what right wingers do on cable news 24 7. And it gets under people's skin to no end, they can't get their point out. I don't think it's necessarily the right thing to do, but it was great to see it flipped on its head mm-hmm. and used against Giuliani. And he's like, ah, ah, shut up, you are right. But my, that wasn't my favorite part. My favorite part was the guy in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, his face. Right. And he, oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Literally wincing and like, what am I doing here? He's like, he's in the Brady Bunch, but he's not in the family. <laughs> so he's like, what's going on here? <laughs> well, we're not done yet. Uh, things get even, they devolve further. So let's take a look at the next clip. He said to me, he said about me that I was asked by the State Department to go dig up political dirt on Trump's opponent. Totally false. The State Department asked me. You just said it. No, you, no, let, I didn't. Let, let, you let did, him, you liar. Just, just you finish. did. Just let him tell finish, him, and you can respond. You turn him listen. off so I can speak. Okay. Let I Andy respond to, you. to this. You let, don't know what you're talking about. Let, you don't Andy, have any idea what you're talking what about. You just said. I did not I say the state. You and you know who I did it at the request of? The State Department. I never talked to a Ukrainian official until the State Department called me and asked me to do it. And then I reported every conversation back to them. Oops. <laughs> so he absolutely did. Chris Hahn did bust him. The guy in the middle is still like, oh, what am I doing here? <laughs> I mean, look, I guess credit to Chris Hahn, but super low bar. Like. Giuliani's all over the place. I mean, he contradicts himself. He's just like Trump. Maybe this is the reason why Trump likes him so much. Definitely. They're very similar in contradicting themselves in the same sentence. Peas in a pod, are you kidding me? Like no other, like if you think Giuliani has mentally deteriorated, well, that's pretty obvious. I mean, you just see it all over TV. Uh, And, but who would hire him as their lawyer on a case that is, will determine how you're viewed for the rest of time. I mean, on a, you literally cannot have a more important case. And you hired that guy mm-hmm. as your lawyer? I mean, if Giuliani came into my office, like, oh, I'm gonna call people, I'm gonna get stupid. You think I'm stupid? I'd be like, no, no, it's okay, I'm gonna get a different attorney, right? And Trump goes, that's my boy, nailed it, Yeah, nailed it. Okay, so, but Trump will throw anyone under a bus. And if he throws Giuliani under a bus, I'm telling you, I, like Giuliani's unhinged too. No, Giuliani's <laughs> so gonna end up in prison, I have no doubt at this point. But Giuliani also, if you, if if State Department or Trump throws him under a bus, mm-hmm. he's gonna come up out from under the bus like a horror movie mm-hmm. and be like, "Oh yeah, this is all my evidence, right? True, but I mean, look, didn't that happen with Michael Cohen? And Trump is still in office. That's you know, true. it's, it's kind of incredible. Fair. So there is one final part of this, and it's Donald Trump because Donald Trump also likes to incriminate himself. So I, I do want to show this quick clip. Take a look at that. Rudy Giuliani, why do you think it's appropriate for your personal attorney to get involved in government business? Well, you'd have to ask Rudy. I will you tell you. I will tell you this: that uh, Rudy's looking to also find out where the phony witch hunt started, how it started. You had a Russian witch hunt that turned out to be two and a half years of phony nonsense. 
And Rudy Giuliani is a great lawyer. He was a great mayor. He's highly respected. I've watched the passion that he's had on television over the last uh, few days. I think it's incredible the way he's done. And Rudy's got every right to go and find out where that started. And other people are looking at that, too. Where did it start? The enablers. Where did it all come from? It was out of thin air. And I think he's got a very strong right to do it. He's a good lawyer. He knows exactly what he's doing. Okay, two important things out of there. Uh, number one, no, a personal attorney doing diplomacy for the uh, United States of America makes no sense. Uh, it's that's not how diplomacy is done. He's not part of the United States government. That's madness. Second of all, for that attorney to then go and not only do diplomacy but do illegal diplomacy, where he says, "Give us dirt on our political opponent," in exchange for promises uh, from the American government. Unheard of, but crazy. But actually, the most relevant part was what he said in the beginning. So you'd have to ask Rudy. That's the kind of thing he says when he's about to throw you under the bus. I mean, I mean it wasn't me. I mean, Rudy's a great lawyer. Why don't you ask him? Tick, 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 tick. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.